Good morning guys, what is up? It is me, your girl Mariah Vatel, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by today's title, it is going to be a very productive day today. I need to get so much ish in order guys. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be reorganizing and counting my inventory, shipping off packages, planning for the month of March, and so much other shit. Just filling you guys in on everything that's been going on personally and business wise in my life i miss you guys so much so it's time for us to go ahead and get up to date it's time to have a productive day and get my ish in order so yeah enough said let's just go ahead and get right into it so right now it is 10 45 and normally in the morning times what i like to do is send off any pending graphic design orders if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i am also a graphic designer i own a company called graphics unlocked definitely check me out if you're looking for logos websites thank you cards business cards different stuff like that i have one pending order that is pretty much done so what i'm going to do is just basically send off her final drafts right now I'm just trying to eat a little bit of breakfast before I start organizing my inventory I got this new little thing right here and it is what is this called like a storage shelf this was much needed because if you guys don't know, like if you're OG, you know I've been operating out of bins for a while, bins and boxes, and it's been getting hard for me to actually like see my inventory, like what the hell do I have in stock? I can see it on my phone through like Shopify, but like I wanna visually see it. Like I want to see the inventory, I want it to be screaming, sell me, sell me, sell me. Like you get what I'm saying? So this is a constant reminder, girl, you need to sell this shit. So, <laughs> I think it was like $65 um, for a five shelf organizer. I went ahead last night and put it together and then I put a few items on it already just so I can see where I want everything to go. But you guys will see that I have like three bins that I need to empty and put on here. So that's what we're going to be doing. But really quick let me go ahead and show you guys her logo just so y'all can see what I be doing. Let me see, can y'all see that? So y'all can't see it, so I'll just show y'all a close-up of what it looks like. Her original logo looked like this. I went ahead and narrowed it down to this. And then we added some bling, and then this is the final draft. So yeah, I think it turned out super cute. I feel like it looks similar to her original logo, just elevated. But you know, <laughs> that's what I'm here for. I elevate the design, okay? Period. So I'm about to just go ahead and send that to her. <sighs> but yeah, guys. <gasps> Did y'all see that explode? OMG. I wonder if y'all saw that on camera. But anyways, I'm just about to eat this little peach yogurt real quick. And then I got a little piece of scrapple. And then, yeah. But as you guys may or may not have noticed, I haven't posted a video on YouTube for like a while. But just to fill you guys in, on the month of February, I was doing pop-up shops all month. Just to be able to get my name out there locally, I feel like all of my orders tend to come from all around the world, which is what I'm super grateful for. Um, but you do also want to be known locally, so then when you throw your own pop-up shop, you can get people that are in your city to be able to come out easier. So that's what I've been doing. Pop-up shops, now that I went to a lot in one month, I can honestly say I feel like pop-up shops are meant to be done two to three times a year. Not necessarily so many in a month. You can either make or lose money I feel like there were certain pop-up shops that I went to where I went ahead and gained money off of the initial price that I had to pay to be there and then it was other times I was like girl this wasn't worth the gas this wasn't worth the coin it's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give no I wasted my money so I guess pop-up shops are really like a toss-up so for anybody that are inquiring about pop-up shops and want to know it's a risk just like anything else but they are worth it if you pick the right vendor place to be at the best vendor spots are like 
tables that only are 75 to 100 dollars when it's more than that i feel like you really have to push hard to be able to sell as much inventory as you need at that day because if you pay 130 for a table like you have to make 130 back before you start seeing like a profit if you get what i'm saying so yeah but anyways let me finish eating this day on breakfast and then we're gonna go ahead and organize the rest of this inventory because we got a lot <laughs> pretty much organized now on the rack I figured out how I wanted to have it so at the very top is basically old inventory and pieces that have singles so like the snake charmer set it's only one of those left and then it's like uh, Valentine's Day dresses inventory that's older and not as new and then on this shelf I just have my sets the nude and burgundy sets and then here I have graphic tees that have been restocked and then the next shelf is the purses that I have left a little bit of the sets that I have left that are almost gone um, I think they're called the vixen set in gray and black and then there as well are the um, venom pants see I'm trying to remember all the names at once and then at the bottom are just flat habit pants and then more t-shirts that are just like this but instead they're not um, packaged in the little cellophane things so I just have that there so I'll go ahead and get rid of all these first and then I'll finish packing these in the cellophane bags and then here I just have damaged goods in this little bin right here are more of the venom pants but I have to fold these up and package them so yeah this is pretty much everything. All right, you guys. So real quick, I'm going to package up this order that I got. Um, let's see. She ordered. I don't know if you guys can see that, but she ordered the Venom vinyl pants in a size large and the Plaid Habits Extendo scrunch pants in a size large as well. So that's what we are about to pack up. I have everything right here. Um, and then I just included a little free gift for her just to say thank you. I do this every now and again with some of my customers. I have her vinyl pants right here. Size large. And then I have her plaid habits extendo pants right here in a size large as well. And I'm almost out of, well, this is my last one of the really big poly mailers I have. So I definitely want to go ahead and get some more. But I have her thank you card right here. And then I have her note on the back. And then I have the business card right here as well. Okay, her packing slip and I already printed out her you know her slip oh and I meant to tell y'all I invested in getting a Rolo printer and it is like the best thing you could ever ask for so now I have the little stickers I don't have to um, cut out the shipping labels and then tape them down so I'm so excited about that but let's just go ahead and put everything together so it's going to be like this. 
Then I put the packing slip down. Then the thank you card. The business card. And then I always flip sunglasses that way so that they don't get smushed. But I'll actually probably put it inside of the two clothing pieces or on the side like this just so it can be even more safe. I get this all right I'm good because I was about to say y'all this is my last big poly mail honey okie dokie now I'm just gonna turn it over to the back and put one of our warning labels on it I love these and everybody literally loves these about their package so then it looks like this. Can y'all see? I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus. And then flip it back around. And that looks like this. Can y'all see? Y'all, I'm trying to get like a good angle. Right? All right, so this package is all set and ready to go. I'm just gonna drop this off at the post office before the end of the day. You guys will probably see that, but yeah. Super big order, I love orders like this. Eventually, I wanna grow hot-headed to the point where people shop for me like seasonal too like you know how it's like oh it's about to be winter let me go stock up on winter pieces oh it's about to be summer let me go stock up on summer pieces that hot hitted like I love that my orders have grown a little bit larger so it's not just people getting like one piece of clothing like they'll get like two or three and different stuff like that so I'm super excited about that I'm super grateful for that but I can't wait for her to get her package so Tania if you're watching this thank you so much girl and I hope you love everything I feel like you guys always see the other side of my room but you never see this side but really quick what I'm about to do is I'm about to change this right here this was basically what I was doing for the month of February I decided to really focus on myself and become a better person I realized a lot of things that I needed to change in my life so I went ahead and did this now I did stop checking it off but I did complete more days than just two days babe but let me not show y'all this too much because that is my vision board and I'm not ready to get that personal yet but I will show you guys this because I'm about to go ahead and erase it for the month of March and then write down actual goals. Last month, I decided to erase all of the goals that I had for the month as far as like making orders, doing YouTube and uploading and all that stuff and just kind of focus on mental health and kind of like bettering myself. That's what I feel like a lot of us tend to lack on. We're, we're so into setting a goal, achieving the goal, getting the goal done making the coin which is all great but if you're not mentally ready if you're not like you know if you've fallen off a little bit then I just feel like girl 
you got to get it together because none of that ish is really going to matter if you're not right. So I wasn't going to show this. I was just going to erase it and then write my new goals down. But I mean, it could help somebody. So why not? What I wrote first was you must be willing to give up what you are to become who you want to be. So all of the experiences that you've had in your past, the habits that you've created for yourself, you have to give up those things to be able to become who it is that you really want to be in your life. So last month was basically a month of healing and kind of like change for me. So the daily task that I did each day was I made sure to wake up at 8 a.m. Um, and then also read my devotions. I have like a devotional book on my nightstand that I read a few pages of and then also read one to two chapters of my book that I'm reading and I'm going to be doing a video on like my morning routine. Um, but yeah, then read my manifestation chant. So I created a manifestation chant that I try to read every morning, brush my teeth before 10 a.m. Yes, I brush my teeth every day but if you were like me and you were the type of person to get up at like 12 o'clock like you don't brush your teeth until 12 until you get up so this was more of an incentive for me to get up at 8 a.m. so it's like even if you didn't make it to get up at 8 a.m. you need to at least get up at 10 a.m. and brush your damn teeth you get what I'm saying like get the fuck up and get life started Sorry, but that's like the pep talk I had to start giving myself. Then I said exercise. And then what's under there? Oh, shower and wash face. That's obvious. Um, and then complete three main biz or personal tasks for the day. Also, make healthier eating. Oh, wow. Make healthier eater. Wow, I can't talk. Make healthier eating. Y'all, I'm over it. What the hell? Make healthier eating decisions. <laughs> we got it. Also, only listen to Zen music slash positive audio. So sometimes I would realize the music I was listening to would like get me in a funk or take me to places where like, girl, you don't need to be sad. Like you don't want you don't want to be a depressed bitch. Like let's let's get out of that. So. <laughs> I decided to like listen to more Zen music and positive audio so like podcasts and people talking about business and different stuff like that. Now with this I wasn't as consistent with it. Obviously I did still listen to certain music but I, I dialed it down a little bit. Also limit socials slash TVs to three hours. I limited my social media so I put like a little timer on my iPhone just to let me know like hey you're about to reach this time you need to get off social media. Just because you don't want to get so involved in social media it can be so draining and after a while you realize that wow I'm looking at everybody's life and not living my own so I started limiting that and TV also shadow work entries so like each night what I try to do is answer a shadow work question where I just kind of analyze where I've been in the past and how I've become the person that I am today and then stop biting nails guys I know that's gross to some people but honestly that was a habit that I had for the longest time ever since I was younger I've always bitten my nails and I'm proud to say should I show y'all on camera no let's show y'all in like another month I'm proud to say I have been letting my nails grow out I think it might be an anxiety thing I'm not sure but yeah if you're a nail biter you already know like after a while you're like I really have to stop doing this and then I was like girl I'm about to get married one day like how am I gonna feel if my husband proposes to me we on camera and he like um will you marry me and I'm like um yes and then my nails look a mess like honey no so I had to give that up babe <laughs> that's not gonna happen nails gonna be on point when he asks me to marry him and I just wanted it for myself so you know but anyways this is just like an overview of my little personal manifestation nook and just everything that I need to do <laughs> to write March G 
O A L S. All right, March goals. Make minimum blank H H quarters. Okay, so make minimum. I'm going to fill in the number there. Hot hitted orders for the month. Book minimum blank graphic orders. Okay guys, so I went ahead and got a better marker because that one was not working and I pretty much wrote everything down for the month. I might add some things on, but for now, this is what it's going to be. So my March goals are, a make, are to make a minimum amount of sales for my business hot-hitted, um, make a minimum amount of sales for my graphic design business, um, also record, I want to record maybe like six videos for each month. So that's what I want. So it's like three to four weeks in each month. So I want to have like two videos each week. So yeah. Um, then I want to work on rebrand and have a game plan finalized. So basically I want to also rebrand my business hot hitted. I haven't talked to anybody about it. So you guys are going to be the first to actually hear a little bit about it, but I want to go ahead and rebrand that. Um, just to tweak it a little bit and make it even better and then also lose some pounds so like i had you had saw on the previous board um like i've been eating healthier and trying to like um you know create a better healthier lifestyle so i want to lose a few pounds this month to get to my goal um, and then for the message that I have for this month, I said, you are on the verge of greatness. Be unafraid to let your light shine. And then I basically said that was a message from God. I like to sit down and really listen to what I feel like God is saying to me. And this is what I feel like he's saying to me this month. Basically, be unafraid of your greatness. You know, we all possess really amazing gifts in our life. And a lot of the times we don't let our light shine because we're unafraid of what people will say or we're just too critical of our damn selves okay that's what I always tell people your worst enemy is yourself you battle that bitch every day so <laughs> you get what I'm saying but basically be unafraid to let your light shine be unafraid to show people the gifts that you possess in this world okay it's time to fuck shit up get into it okay and that's what I want to do I want to get into my greatness that I know I possess and all that good jazz. So this is the board for March. All right, y'all, so I just got to the post. Oh, let me take my mask off. I just got to the post office and the line is long as hell. Like all the cars in the parking lot, I'm like, girl, I'm not finna wait. So I'm about to just drop it off at the drop-off section at the desk and girl, call it a day.